Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to configure historic exchange rates and how to use this in translation room. Generally, client will give you the list of accounts which should be getting translated at historic rates. For example, you have invested some amount in one of the investment properties. This happened in 2018 beginning. And you want to use the same exchange rate for that particular account. So in that case, we need to use historic rate translations. Let me show you exchange rate grid. For the month of uh, January in 2018, there is a historic rate of 1.28, let's say. In the month of December, month ending rate is 1.30. I have prepared a form for historic rate account. When I entered 100,000 in entity currency and ran translation, I am getting result of 130,000. But I need to see 128,000 because this particular value should get translated using historic account exchange rate which is 1.28. So what all the steps we need to do that to set up historic rates. For the account for which you want to translate using historic rate, you can make use of user defined properties. For user defined one, I want to enter historic. It doesn't need to be exact same name. You can use historic account, whatever name is convenient. This is referred by user defined one. And in exchange rates, I have defined another rate, historic rate. And I have loaded this metadata into HFM application. We will now see how to write the rule for this historic account translations. I have created a variable dim hist underscore rate. So you can use any variable name. And I have used it in the beginning of the translate routine. And here is the historic rate translation. If hs.account.ud1, so I want to use user defined one variable for this account 170500. If it is historic, then hs.trans. So you can leave the source and destination empty as shown here. That means for any of these account combinations in the source, for entity currency, it will convert that and keep it in USD. If you leave it like this, the source is entity currency and destination is whatever is your application currency or for which the translation is being run. And this is the translation rate, historic rate we want to use. So historic rate equal to hs dot get rate a hash historic rate this is a exchange rate account and our exchange rate is in year 2018 and january month so we are bringing that using hs.get rate and keeping it in historic rate variable in this particular translation routine and i am using that variable here so i don't need rate 2 Rate 2 is required only if you want to bring the difference between the rates. But I want this account to get translated at historic rate. I have loaded this rule in application and ran the translations. Now the source is 100,000. Instead of 130,000, it is showing now as 128,000. So which is our Historic rate is 1.28. So 100,000 multiplied by 1.28 is 128,000. In this session, we have seen how to translate accounts using historic exchange rate. Thank you for joining today's session. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have published an advanced course on Hyperion Financial Management on Udemy. Please check the description box below for coupon code. Happy learning!